sea with their father, the Mer King, and their brother. The youngest little mermaid was the most lovely and longed for the day that she would visit the surface of the water to see the wonders of the world. This she could do when she reached her 15th birthday. At last the day came when she was allowed to rise to the surface, where she saw a large sailing ship on the still water. There were people on board singing and dancing, and the handsomest of them all was a young prince. As they sang and danced, a terrible storm blew up, and the ship capsized and sank to the bottom. The little mermaid remembered that man cannot live in the water, and went to the prince's rescue. At last they reached dry land, where stood the white temple. A group of young girls came walking, and the little mermaid hid behind some rocks to see who might help the prince. The youngest girl went to his aid, assisted by some of the other girls. Soon the prince revived and was taken into the white temple, whereupon the little mermaid returned to her father's palace, sad in the knowledge that the prince did not realize that it was she who had rescued him. The little mermaid longed to be a human like him and was prepared to risk all to win the heart of the prince, so decided to seek the help of the sea witch. You shall have your wish, but it will only bring you misfortune, said the witch. I will prepare a magic drink, it will transform your wishes to you into human beings. as though you're walking on sharp knives, making your feet bleed and causing you unbearable pain. In return for my potion, you might give me your voice, which is the sweetest of all the dwellers in the sea. But if you take my voice from me, what am I left to charm the prince? Asked the little mermaid. Your lovely form, your graceful movements, and your speaking eyes, replied the witch. So, the little mermaid agreed, and the witch cut out her tongue. She could now neither sing nor speak. She returned to the prince's palace, and while the moon shone in the sky, she drank a potion and fell down as if dead. When the sun rose, she awoke, and there before her stood the prince.